Hello again. Um, today I'm just going to talk to you guys about how to uh, put together a nest box and basically what to do whenever your rabbits are ready to kindle. I've got a doe that's ready to kindle and I'm going to be working in the garage because, well, it's winter time. It's, I just got home from work. It's cold outside and it's already getting dark. So anyway, um, let me just get to it real quick. I'll show you what I use for nest box and uh, how I prepare them for my rabbits that are getting ready to kindle. Um, even with the cold outside, this does just fine. If they, you know, they'll bury their, their Grab, they bury their kits in the straw and it keeps them plenty warm. So anyway, um, getting to it, let me adjust a little bit here. This, if you can see it, is my nest box. And it's basically just a wire box. I'll go up here a little closer. You can see it's just, it's clipped together with J-clips down the side, um, folded in. It's about uh, 10 inches tall. So if you look at it from the side, uh, try to get this in the camera. If you look at it from the side, top to bottom, it's about 10 inches tall. Um, it's about 10 inches wide. This is the front. 10 inches wide from this side to this side. And this piece right here is in the very front is only about 5 inches wide. Or 5 inches tall, excuse me. So the rabbits can get in and out pretty easily. And then the back, um, let's see what did I miss. 11 inches long, 10 inches wide, 10 inches tall. Uh, the back's full. I know that's going to be hard to see on camera. But it's just a wire box made out of baby saver wire. In the summertime, um, I don't really do a whole lot. I put a piece of cardboard in the bottom of it. I'd uh, give them some extra support, layer it with some wood chips and some straw, but I don't put a lot on the sides because it's so hot. It's winter time, so in the winter time, what I'm going to do is uh, take a piece of cardboard and cut it to size and basically fold it up into a box, put it inside here to where it lines all the sides, the front and the back to give them just a little bit of extra protection from the cold. So I've already got a piece of cardboard here. Pick that up, just a cardboard box. I've cut it to length, the appropriate length. And you probably can't see it on here. Um, I doubt that's gonna show up. You can kind of see, oh, like right, oh, there we go, right there. There's a line drawn. What I did is I just drew a line um, back up here a little bit. Drew a line down and out to the corner so I cut that piece out and it'll fold up into a box and fit down inside there. So uh, let me go ahead and cut this out and then I'll come back and I'll show you the, the final results here. Okay, yeah, I've got that all taken care of now. And you can see what I did is I just uh, lined the inside of the, the nest box um, with, the, with the cardboard. I like to use one piece of cardboard. You could use multiple pieces, but you can see this is one piece of cardboard. You know, I cut the, uh, whoops, wrong corner. Cut the corners out and then just folded it up into a box, stuffed it down in here. Um, the reason I like to use one piece instead of two is because sometimes rabbits will grab a hold of these, these side pieces here and pull up on them. And if you use separate pieces for the walls, they can pull them out of the nest box and lay them down on top. Another thing I do to kind of prevent that, because you know rabbits chew on everything as you can see, I've got a piece of uh, twine here. That what I've done is I've just poked a hole in one side of the cardboard, poked a hole in another side because this is a you see it, this is a natural break in the cardboard, so it's, a, it's like the flaps on the box. And um, I strung a piece of string twine through there, tied it to the cage. I also did that at the front corner right there. That just discourages them again from grabbing this and pulling it down. I've had a rabbit one time, it just only happened to me once, but um, she had a litter and she was a first time mom, had three or four babies and um, in the nest and she got in here and pulled on these sides and ended up laying them down inside the box. She had to work at it quite a bit to get in there, but she did it and um, ended up crushing the babies because she was jumping on top of the, the cardboard. So since then I've taken to uh, tying them to the side um, in just a couple of pieces. It doesn't have to be much. Um, rabbits will chew on just about anything, but when they can't pull that, when it doesn't want to come away from the side, they give up pretty quick and pretty easy. So um, anyway, so that's basically it. Just uh, hopefully you can see it is a box inside of a wire cage. So the next thing I'm going to do... I use wood chips. This is just like, you know, animal bedding is what you would use. And I'll put about, oh, I don't know, a couple of inches in the bottom here just to act as uh, an absorber. Let me reposition this camera a little bit so you can kind of see what I'm doing. We'll work over here. So. So anyway. So, again, I'll take a couple inches of this um, animal bedding. This is just all natural, 
this is pine bedding. I've heard some people say you shouldn't use pine. I never had a problem with it. So anyway, just fluff it up and coat the bottom of the, uh, the nest box with it. It doesn't need to be a lot. Just, I don't know, maybe, maybe two inches on the bottom or an inch and a half, something like that. Just a good, nice, even coating. So you can kind of see, maybe, let me look around here, you can kind of see it's just a, I mean, it's just a couple of inches in the bottom, so not, uh, there we go, not a whole lot, um, just to make it absorbent, just a nice, even coating on the bottom. Then I'm going to stuff it full of straw. I'll show you a little trick here I got for my straw too. I, uh, I use a lot of straw around here on some on the garden, some on the, uh, in the rabbit cages. The stuff that I'm going to use in the rabbit cages, I put it inside of a, uh, a contractor trash bag. It's a little tricky to get in there, but it will fit a full bale, you know, full size, 30 gallon contractor trash bag, nice and sturdy. So whenever I break it open, it doesn't just go everywhere and it's hard to contain. So somebody else may have a better idea on how to store straw, but that works great for me. So anyway, what I'm going to do is cut this bale open. And then just take a bunch, a couple of handfuls, several handfuls. I'm going to stuff this box pretty full of straw. Fluff it out whenever you put it in the nest box. I mean, I know you probably can't see me doing this, but hang on. There we go. So fluff it out. Stuff the nest box full. Really smoosh it down in there. I think somebody else said smoosh the other day. I thought that was a funny word, but here I am using it. But cram it down in there. Make a lot of it. because. You know, you're going to give this to your dough, and she's going to get in there and rearrange it and put it just about everywhere she wants it to be. She'll pull some of it out into the cage, so just put a lot in there. Again, in the summertime, I'm not going to use a full cardboard box on here. Make sure that's not going to fall over. Okay. In the summertime, you're not going to use a full cardboard box lying in the... the uh, the nest box, so you don't need quite as much straw. Halfway full, something like that. But the next thing I do is what I found is almost all my does, like here's the front of the nest box here. Almost all my does have their nests back towards the back. So I'll take this straw, and I'll kind of punch my hand down in here, make just a little bit of a hole there. Kind of encourage her. I don't know if you can see that on camera or not. Just punch my hand down in there, make a little bit of a hole, and encourage her to nest right down in there. And that's pretty much all there is to it. This is day, um, well, here, let me adjust this back up towards me. All right. This is day 26, 27, day 27. I like to put the nest box in on day 27 or 26, somewhere right and around in there. Um, most, most rabbits and most of my rabbits have their babies on the 28th, the 29th, or the 30th, almost always on the 29th or 30th, I'm almost like clockwork. Um, and I like to put it in just a couple of days beforehand, let the female get used to it. What you'll notice um, when she's getting ready to kindle, she'll start picking up you know, this straw, she'll grab it out of here, and she'll start running around with it in her mouth and it'll look like I mean, just hanging out both sides of her mouth looking for a place to nest. Um, so that's a telltale sign that she's getting ready to have her babies. Um, if you start seeing that activity, you need to start watching pretty close. Usually I don't worry about it too much, but in the wintertime when it's cold, if she happens to have them on the nest, I like to catch it real early. Um, if I can catch her having the babies on the net on the or excuse me on the cage floor, you know, pick them up and get them into the nest, they're usually okay. Um, but anyway, that's about all there is to it. I'll put this nest box in with her tonight. I'll check on her tomorrow and see how she's doing with it. I don't. All I do is set this box in her cage. I don't put it anywhere. She'll move it all around the cage wherever she wants it, and that's it. Um, and then I'll just keep an eye on her until she has her babies. And that's pretty much it. So um, I'll keep this video going for a couple of days and um, show you what you know when she has her babies and update you on that. And um, hopefully you'll learn a couple of pieces of information from that. So we'll uh, talk to you again here in a couple of days. All right, I thought I'd give you an update on um, my nest box I put in. I put it in Thursday evening. Uh, the last video, that, or the last part of the video that you saw, and uh, today is Saturday, and it's probably, I don't know, it's about 11 o'clock Saturday morning, you can tell, nice, look at this, 
Well, if you can see, I'm wearing a t-shirt because we have a warm snap coming through. 55 degrees today, so nice. Anyway, um, I'm seeing some nesting activity, so I thought I'd kind of show you a little bit about what you're, you're going to expect before the doe kindles. I expect, uh, you know, I put it in on the 27th day, so that would make today the 29th day. I expect she's going to have her babies either tonight, tomorrow, uh, pretty quick though. So let me give you a, a, a glimpse of what we're looking at here. So we'll move into the, uh, the rabbit barn here. And uh, you can see her. There she is with mouth full of straw. That's what you're looking for. When you start seeing that mouth full of straw like that, she is getting ready to have babies. So, and of course, she's carrying it out of the nest box and putting it back in the nest box. She's just getting all kinds of activity going here. So anyway, that's what you're looking for. I really don't want to pass her in. She's filled her water bowl up with straw, so I'll have to take care of that here in a little while. But it looks like she might be trying to, who knows, who knows where she's going to build her nest. Hopefully in the nest box. If she doesn't, what I'll do is just simply pick it up and put it back in the nest box and make sure her babies are in there all nice and snug and she'll she'll get in there and take care of them, no problem. She won't move them around once I put them back in there. So anyway, that's as, that's as much of an update now. I'll show you kind of uh I'll give you updates later. Oh, looks like she's actually uh, in the nest box now. So anyway, I'll give you updates later and uh, show you what the babies look like. So this is uh this is the buck she's bred to, this little Californian buck. She's a New Zealand white, so these are going to be hybrids. So, anyway, I'll, like I said, I'll post an update here. Uh... Well, hello again. I want to uh, do a short video here, tell you I was wrong. I uh, thought they were going to be born within the day or two, and we're now three days later. I think the last time we talked, it was like Saturday, and uh, she was building the nest and you know stuffing straw in there, and I figured that you know she'd probably have the babies. That rabbit's pretty good usually she waits till last minute to build her straw so when she's running around with straw in her mouth it's usually like next day but anyway from Saturday so I expect him to be born Saturday night or Sunday today's Tuesday today is uh, 30 day 31 and she almost always has her babies day 28 29 very seldom goes past 30 so anyway this just goes to show I was beginning to think it was a, a you know a false pregnancy but this just goes to show don't take the nest box out too soon. Wait till day 35, 36 before you just give up on it completely. So anyway, um, uh, what I'm filming is uh, she still hasn't had her babies yet, but I really am confident that she's going to have them probably tonight, and I'll show you why. So let me see if she's still out. Okay, one thing you can see in here, maybe, because it's kind of dark. If we can get her face. Oh, it looks like she's actually having them right now. So, I'm not going to disturb her too much. I think I'm going to go away. I think she's having them right on the cage floor. So, I'm going to have to come out here again in 15 minutes or so and check. But What I was noticing is she was running around with a bunch of hair in her mouth. Where she had pulled hair to line the, the nest with. And uh, that's a sure sign that she's getting ready to have babies. But right now what we're watching, I think, is her actually giving birth so so I think what I'll do is just uh oh yep I can see one squirming of course she's not in the nest box she's on the cage floor but I'm going to watch her pretty close here look at that that's something you don't get to see very often at all and I don't know how well you can see it on film but what great timing so she's having them on the nest box, but she's getting a little nervous here. I'm going to walk away and leave her alone. But, uh, so what I'm going to do, the good thing about rabbits is they're not real overly protective of their nest, of their litter. So I'm going to walk away, give her 15 minutes or so, check on her every 10 or 15 minutes. And as soon as she's had them and she's stepped away from them, I'll put them in the nest box for her. And I'll bring you guys back out and show you that. So talk to you in a few minutes, I guess. Okay, this is what a bunch of baby rabbits crawling around the cage looks like. I need to get these things taken care of. Looks like seven babies so far. All I'm going to do, and I'll try to show as much of this on camera as I can, but I kind of need to do this pretty quick, so one hand it's kind of hard. But all I'm going to do is basically stuff a hole in the nest box back there and put all the babies in it, pick up the fur that she's pulled over in the corner, put that on top of them. I'm not 100% sure she's done, but don't have time to wait too long, so... Okay. 
Okay, so again, what I'm going to do is stuff a hole, make a hole down in here in the nest box. Pick these guys up and put them right inside there. I know this is really hard. I'm shaking the camera all around, but here's why you need baby saber wire. See that guy's trying to squirm out right there. I need to catch him before he does. Come on. Okay, there's two. There's three. And there's four. I know a lot of people say, you know, put, oh, it's okay, it's okay. Put vanilla on their nose, but, you know, I don't really have problems with her. She doesn't seem to mind me messing with her young too much. She won't abandon them. She'll get in there and take care of them. Oh, look, there was one hidden back there. There's five. Okay, come on. Get out of the way. It looks like eight so far. Six. Okay, move. Seven. And eight. Okay, there we go. There they are in the nest box. Let's get your fur. Cover them up with the fur. And they'll all nestle down in there. They'll, they'll find their way back. Okay, that's what it should look like when I'm all said and done. You can see they're calming down now. Let's make sure I didn't miss any more. Nope, I think I got them all. Oh, just to make sure. Nope, we're good. Okay, now I'm going to walk away and leave her alone for a little while. And that's really all I should have to do. She'll get in there and take care of them tomorrow. You know, later on this evening, I'll check her a couple of times to make sure she hasn't given birth to any more on the cage floor. But that's really pretty much it. So, again, sorry about the sloppy video. But uh, that was uh, the best I could do. So, one-handed with a flashlight, trying to hold a camera with one hand, put babies in the nest with the other. So, anyway, should be all I have to do. I'm just going to leave her alone. She has uh, done a good job other than having them on the cage floor instead of in the nest box. And uh, I'll check back on her here in a little bit and see how she's doing. Make sure she hasn't had any more, but I think she's done. She's over there eating, so she'll get in there and take care of them. It should be fine. All right. Figured I'd come inside. It was kind of hectic out there trying to get the rabbit taken care of in the dark and with a flashlight and a camera on one hand. But um, anyhow, uh, just to, to kind of close this out for you, hopefully that gives you some ideas on what you do whenever you're expecting a litter of rabbits. Um, you know, that rabbit there, she seems to always have them on the cage floor. Occasionally in the nest box, but usually on the cage floor. So, you know, I usually keep a pretty close eye on her about the, the last four, three or four days of, uh, you know, whenever I'm expecting her to have a litter. Um, you know, luckily it's not terribly cold outside, so it wasn't, you know, super urgent. A lot of times I'll get up in the morning and there's the babies on the nest floor, you know. They'll usually huddle together after a while and she'll cover them up with some fur so they're okay, but it's best to have them really in the nest box all snug. Um, other than that, there's not much you have to do. You know, put them in the nest box if you find them on the cage floor, cover them up with fur. Like I said, I read all the time about people saying put, uh, put vanilla on her nose so she doesn't smell your scent on the babies. My rabbits, I don't know how other people's are, but my rabbits, are they don't, they don't care. She doesn't mind me at all messing with them. Um, sometimes when I'm in there, you know, messing with the nest box, she's kind of curious. She'll, she'll watch, but she's never abandoned a litter. Um, and you can see, I mean, I handled those just right, minutes after they were born. And she was maybe a little concerned with what I was doing. But once she saw that they were in the nest box, she calmed right down, went back, went back to eating and drinking. So... Nothing else I really have to do. I'll check on them every day, especially for the first couple of days, make sure none of them have passed away, died, and clean up any you know messes that occur there from that. Um, but other than that, they should be, she, she'll take care of them, make sure she's got plenty of food and water, and um, there won't be any issues, hopefully. So, usually aren't. So anyway, hopefully that, uh, that helps out a little bit, and uh, if you have any questions, um, comments, uh, feel free to leave them. I look forward to them. And again, apologize for the sloppy camera work. I know it was pretty bad, but uh, it's really hard to hold a camera and a flashlight in one hand and try to mangle rabbits with the other hand. So anyway, thank you again for watching.